Yo, what's up guys, AFC Dino here and welcome to a new video. I'm gonna try my hand one more time at this Relegator Breloom team. Um, it's super weak versus Weezing, but other than that, it should do the job. Um, I do have a different team with Relegator in mind though, uh, so I'm definitely gonna play that team as well, but I might as well get a, in a few games with this team. And yeah, uh, maybe I'll play even another game. But yeah, for this one, he does have the Volcarona Miensha. So Sentiment is actually going to be pretty decent. Also, somewhat checking the Excadrill. But we do have Hippowden as well. And yeah, my Miensha will also go. Uh, I don't have a Miensha on this team. What am I even saying, man? <laughs> what am I even saying? Um, what do we do? Okay, I'm going to lead with Hippowden. Uh, I assume he wants to lead up with uh, Miensha. He leads up with Volcarona, and that's pretty interesting. I don't know what kind of Volcarona set this is. If this is safeguard, I lose immediately anyway, so I'm just gonna set up my Stalled Rock. Um, I accept a loss if I, f if I face that kind of Volk, but he goes for Fairy Dance straight away. If he doesn't boost his special attack, that could be good. Uh, so that's, that did a lot though. Did weaken my Hippowden a bit. But just having them rocks up can be really beneficial to us. And I can just go into Salamence now. I could have gone Salamence immediately. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have allowed him to weaken me. But I also want to find out who the Stealth Rocker of his team is. And he doesn't get to Stealth Rock easily versus me. He doesn't get to Stealth Rock easily versus me. So I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'm going for Toxic here. As he goes into Chansey. And now I know his Volcarona won't be able to touch me. I get the Toxic here. I I'm not sure if this is T-Wave yet. But I don't think I have anything to really... Um, I don't I don't have anything to really heal my Hippowden on. So I might as well do it on this. If he poisons me, so be it. But then I, at least I, this T-Wave, see exactly, that's why I didn't bring in Breloom. But if he did poison my Hippo, I would I'd still be I would still be able to go for the Slack Off if he went for the Toxic. He's running both. But that is vital information because he needs to heal up right now. And the play we can make now is go directly into our Breloom and basically be a threat. Because he need, kind of needs to soft boil. Also, if I get my Relegator... Uh, with a Dragon Dance up, I can be so threatening to him. But we are going into Breloom immediately, assuming he wants to go for the uh, South Boil, exactly. And this is where I can use Substitute, because if he goes for Corona, he comes in on Stealth Rug. For Corona is the only one I would switch against, but in this case, we can just click Substitute. As I assume he wants to, yeah, he goes into Hip Out, and I'll be behind a sub, and I can go for Seed Bomb pretty freely. So that works out really well. If he decides to get up rocks, that's going to be bad for him as he is going to take a lot of damage on the hippo. But it's not bad for him because hippo is not going to defend against the relegator anyway. Uh, but he could still get the rocky helmet off. He might go for roar. But I still got seed bomb damage on him. And nothing. Oh. Oh, this is cool. So I actually don't see a reason uh, not to go for Waterfall. Even if Tantacruel comes in. He decides to go Chansey and this is going to be a cl clean to hit KO. Uh, there was no reason for me to go for Dragon Dance in case he wanted to Earthquake. Because this was a bad position for him anyway. And here as well. Um, I'm just going to click Waterfall. Because this is going to die to rocks. I don't want to Dragon Dance on a Thunder Wave or Toxic. And we get rid of Chansey. So for Relegator picking up the first kill. Really cool, really cool. So Mian Chao is the one that comes in. Uh, we still gotta be a bit careful of Volcarona. Uh, but I think we can still bring in the Salamence. Uh, just to intimidate the guy. He goes for Fake Out. And... 
and I guess he wants to go. He wants to U-turn into Tentacruel. I gotta keep my Hippowden alive for Excadrill to Earthquake at once. But what is the play that doesn't allow? I think we gotta go Porygon here, because if he does go Tentacruel, I can uh, discharge the guy. Oh, I still need to change the ability of this Pokemon, but... Okay. He went for... St so he has Stone Edge on this guy. Then I gotta go Hippo. Making this guy really low. I still got Breloom alive as well. And plus I got the Intimidate on him, so... In that sense, I don't lose too much. And I slowly weaken this Mian Cha. If he clicks... If he clicks U-turn, be that'll be bad for him, so I think he hard switches indeed. And he goes directly into Excadrill, that's the one I want to face. Oh, he's Air Balloon, I see. He's Air Balloon, so he might try to... Um... I gotta roar him. This is his Rapid Spinner, okay. This is his Rapid Spinner, so this is a bit scary. I'm gonna go directly into my uh, Porygon in this situation. And now we can teleport. I'm not gonna bother uh, going for... Um... Well, actually... What is the downside? We'll see. Toxic spikes. I can go for Spore here. Pretty comfortably. I got the guaranteed um, turn of sleep, so I'm not going to sub in case he goes full. I'm going to go straight for Focus Punch in case he goes full Corona Air. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Nice damage. And we can go into Salamence now. And I can debug his toxic spikes away, basically. Oh, I am clicking uh, toxic in this case. Because I would rather have him poisoned first. It's a subset, seriously. Oh, this is not good. I might just straight up lose to this. Okay. Yeah, I knew before and that I would kind of lose to this kind of um, Pokerona. It's Substitute, Quiver Dance, Fairy Dance. He's Fairy Dance spamming me. Flamethrower is not gonna break, so this is this kind of bad. I think I, I cannot beat this. It, it really had, a, had to be a specific substitute or uh, safeguard set. So in that sense, yeah, I cannot beat this kind of Volcarona. So maybe I should have gone for Relegator. 
directly. But I was sure, for some reason, I was sure that we could have handled this with Salamence because he switched out versus me. That's why, um, kind of sucks. Why is he quivered? I, if I click toxic there, dude, hmm, crit him or something. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna click toxic then if he subs now. Okay. I mean, now I can still win. If I connect this toxic, now we can still win. Just need to figure out if hip out and is still very valuable. I think we sack hippo now. I uh, just to get the help from um we sack hippo uh, to get the help from the sandstorm. I'm not sure why he didn't go for substitute when he could could have done it freely. But he just allowed me to poison the Volcarona so I'm okay with this. So I'll bring in the Relegator. I can maybe bait Aqua Jet or something. That's what we could do. Um, but I think... Second Porygon is better. Then maybe we need to sack uh, Salamence. But maybe we can live. I, I don't think so, but... Yeah, there's no way. But he's gonna take Poison and Sandstorm again. He's at 14.3. I'm not sure if Ice Shard is gonna be enough. I don't have Protect on Breloom. I don't think Ice Shard is gonna be enough on Volk, but... Ice Shard is actually gonna be enough. Okay, cool. So yeah, he, he kind of choked away his game, but I'll take it. I'll take it. He goes into Tant Crew, but he has a guaranteed turn of sleep, so I can definitely use this. I'll go directly into for alligator, and this is where I'm gonna start dragon dancing. Because I I'll speed his whole team, and he goes full Corona here, so I'll be faster than Volk. Now I'll still pick up my kill. I'll pick up two kills, actually. The, the annoying thing here is he can get uh, Flame Body on me, but I get rid of Volk. If I didn't get Flame Body there, uh, it could have been super awesome. Because then I would have guaranteed myself another kill. It goes into me and Shao. I'm still, I'm still clicking Waterfall. Doesn't really matter. Clicking waterfall again if he sex uh, hip out and that's fine. I know he's switching, but I know Weaver will always knock him out with uh, with an attack. And for this, I can just dragon dance again. Uh, basically, get the same damage as I usually would do. 
and I'm just gonna crunch him. And of course he has to wake up on the first turn. Like, yeah, the first turn is always guaranteed, but the second turn, I basically see that as the first turn. I think it's better to waterfall in case it goes hip out in there. Because waterfall is still gonna do a lot of damage to the tenth crew. And I still have my defogger alive. But I'll crunch here. Because he's probably gonna go for another toxic spikes. And I can knock him out with waterfall. But yeah, the burn is kind of lame because obviously this wouldn't have happened. And whether he goes uh, Mian Shao or Excadrill, I think it's fine going, Mance. I just need to know if Salamence lives um, Stone Edge from Yan Chao, so I'm actually going to cog this Life Orb Stone Edge. Need a minus one attack. We're only max HP. Stone Edge does. Oh, that's still a lot of a lot of damage. I think that's more damage than I have HP on me, so. So he's gonna click Stone Edge, but he's intimidated, so I'm actually gonna go into Breloom. As he fakes me out. Um, I can live close combat because of um, because of the Intimidate. So what I can do here is click Spore instead of going for an attack here. And now this is asleep, this is awesome. I cannot go for Substitute, because I don't have enough HP. But I can kind of win with Weavile. And he made a misplay by switching her. But I'll just focus punch. Because Miesha has a guaranteed turn of sleep. I'm gonna go into Salamence here, uh, get, get the Intimidate on him. As he rock slides. But Sandstorm just ended. And he cannot knock me out with, with Rapid Spin. Maybe I should have stayed in actually. I think I, I choked this one. If I stayed in, then Salamence. Or I need, I need to get a lot of hits on with Weavile. Okay, um, let's see. I 
I kind of choked this one. Um, but Excadrill, Icicle Spear does. With three hits, I should be able to knock him out. Okay. So with three hits, I should be able to knock him out. Oh, give me three hits. One, two, only two hits. Um, sir, how much ice shot doing? Like, why would you make that play? <laughs> Because Miecha was asleep. I'm just gonna ice shard win. Like, what the heck was he doing? But he wouldn't have been able to knock out Berloom anyway, actually. Because he was using Rapid Spin, I assume he used a Sword Stance as well. So I think I would have won with Bloom anyway. Because I got the guaranteed sleep on the, the Mian Shell. But even if he clicks Fake Out, it won't break. It won't wake up. And then I get the Ice Shard two times. Not so clean this game. Uh, but yeah, it's still 2 hit KO. But he should have won with his full Corona, so he completely misplayed the situation with his full Corona. If he just went for the Substitute, I can play another one. But if he just went for Substitute, I would have lost the game. But yeah, that's the thing, which you cannot account for every full Corona set. Like, sure, you can you can use Chance or Blissey and use Toxic against full Corona. You break the Substitute with Psy Wave or Seismic Toes. But if they are a safeguard set with Roost, then it completely sets up on Jancy. If you use your Dragon types, some have hidden power rise. Like it's really difficult to uh, counter every full Corona set. But yeah, um, I could have avoided that by going directly into um, into Relegator. He took the focus punch damage because at that point he cannot he cannot go for quiver dance on my balloon because otherwise he would die so he needed to attack me and then with relegator and i could live another bug buzz after the fire type attack as long as he doesn't get the special attack boost but even if he knocks me out i go weave all afterwards and knock him out with night slash and that was, would have been a better scenario but yeah i'll pause the video and we'll get in another game uh, okay guys we're back Let's see what we'll find now. Um, uh, 670. 670. <laughs> okay, superior this time. So we do have Porygon, which can come in and we teleport into uh, into our Weaver, I guess. We have Rotom hiding there. Uh, for Alligator, after Dragon Dance can be a big threat to him though. Uh, but I need to get damage on Rotom and ideally on Metagross. So in this game, we are going to lead with the Berloom. In case he wants to lead with Rotom. Um, if he has Superior in, it kind of sucks. As he leads Metagross. I'm not sure what kind of Metagross this is. But it does look like a hyper offensive team. So I assume this is going to be... Um, I just don't know if he wants to take a spore. But I assume this is gonna be like a special attacker with Stealth Rock. So we'll find out first. I'm gonna go into Porygon here. Hmm. 
Yeah, exactly. Use a psychic. He does drop my spit death, which is unfortunate. But I can go into Mance, knowing that he's specially offensive. And then we can flamethrower and we can easily defog the style rock away uh, if we really want to. I am clicking uh, flamethrower here though. In case he wants to go superior on defog. This does look like my only defogger, so maybe we can get a burn or something, that would be cool. I get a 2 hit KO. He does go for the Icy Wind. Which is kind of unfortunate that he has it, but got some nice damage on the Metacross. Defogging is now really difficult. I can go Porygon now. Get the special attack boost again. He does Icy I'm already really slow, so I don't really care. Just the spit death drop on the psychic was kind of that kind of sucked. But I can go for the recover now. If we didn't get that spit death drop, thing it would have been much easier. I just don't know if this is uh, Source Dance. I have a hit Bowden, but I don't want to lose. Um, I don't want to lose this month because of Superior. Okay, um... He close combat that should not knock me out though. So he's gonna take Rocky Helmet Chip. Maybe Life Orb as well. I have a Ferelegator in the back anyways, uh, which can revenge kill this, but I do need this damage off on him. So we're just gonna... Uh, I'm just gonna click real quick. So he clicks Thief, that's fine. He's gonna take Rocky Helmet plus... Uh, the damage again, and then I'll go into Ferelegator and click uh, Waterfall. Ferelegator is faster anyway. Surprised that he went to do this, but uh, this is why I kept my Borygon alive. Look at that damage. I think I'm gonna lose this though. Um, I see win on Metagross kinda did it for him. Oh, I can click Ice Beam here instead of going for Teleport. If he wants to lose Superior, that's fine. Could have gone for recover actually. I think that would have been a, been a better play. I can always kill this with Weavile. I just, yeah, I should have uh, went for recover. Because now I just weakened my Oregon. I at least will knock out the superior. Scissor is kind of low, but he st still has Metagross. I don't know if Metagross is running. Uh, But Dragon Dance on that Scissor though. That would have been awesome. I don't think Porygon will ever heal up on something. Strodon can knock it out with hit him with Hydro Pump. Okay, so how do I want to deal with this? At this point, I want to keep up rocks. I always did Psychic do in the beginning. Let's see my Porygon. I'm going to scroll up. Psychic did 19%, 19.3. So I could potentially actually live the Psychic. I'm gonna go Salamence then. It 
it also might take him two attacks to knock me out. I also don't think the HP on for Relegator matters much, as he needs to bullet punch me. I don't think for Relegator is my win con. I, I mean, Dragon Dancing is nice, but as long as he has Rotom alive, I can never, um, can never get the two hit KO on Rotom with for Relegator. So now I'm gonna click in Crunch in case he wants to go Rotom to save the Scissor, because with Stealth Rock up, I could get some nice damage off on the Rotom. I hope he goes for that choke. You should let Scissor die. Maybe go for Bullet Punch again. Yeah. But just in case. Because I know I know Crunch will be a kill. Dragonite is slow. Uh, Freligate is slower than Dragonite. But he comes in on rocks. He goes Rotom now. Uh, so I can actually go for Crunch to weaken this. Is it slower than Garchomp? It is faster than Metagross though. It is actually faster than Metagross. He's gonna Volt Switch. Hold up, if, he, if he's going to Volt Switch, I think it's better for me to segment. I can keep relegated to attack Metagross, which is most likely not carrying Bullet Punch. And it is leftovers. So I can go into my Breloom now. And I can go for Spore. Hidden Power. It should not knock me out. He's running speed though. Yeah, it shouldn't. I activate my orb. And I think we're better off just going for Focus Punch here. Okay. He's gonna switch anyway. It really depends on his Dragonite set. But Rotom has the guaranteed sleep. I'm clicking Focus Punch here too, in case I, I, I don't allow him to Dragon Dance for free. He locks himself into E Speed. Is that enough? And it looks to be Choice Bandit, so I think I'm gonna lose. Because it's gonna clean up my old team. If I seed bump there, I would have actually killed him. But I allowed myself I, I allowed him to weaken myself so much. Yeah, extreme speed is gonna clean up my team. And that's a bit unfortunate. But if he never if he didn't a uh, special defense drop my Borig and I would have never switched out in the beginning, so. That kind of sucks. Because, yeah, this is definitely going to kill me. Because I know this Kalk. It's Choice Bandit 100%, yeah. And it's going to kill for Relegator as well, so... That kind of sucks. Yeah, it was an offensive uh, rhythm as well. So... But my Salamence would have never taken an icy win. Which meant that I could have Deepak later on. But I needed that Flamethrower damage off on Metacross as well. But if he didn't... Because I got the special attack boost on Porygon. And if I clicked Discharge on him, nothing on his team would have liked to come in. Especially with the special attack boost I gained from the uh, download. But yeah, just a special attack boost. A special defense drop kind of sucked for me. But... Yeah, I think I should have stayed in still, because he could have never KO'd me from there. So maybe I should have just stayed in. Well, I'm going to end off this video. I'll probably go for another match with this team, but I definitely have another team uh, in mind and ready uh, to go uh, with the Forelegator. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.